Hey everybody, Shoe and April here. We were at the Claire Glen Pet Cemetery. This place was built in 1918. These people had like, I don't know, like 40 dogs, 30 cats, and 300 rabbits. So when, when their little critters started dying, they needed somewhere to put them. And back then there was no cemeteries anywhere, except for up way up in New York City. So they bought this big piece of property and started putting their pets there while their neighbors liked it. And when their neighbors liked it, so did uh, other, other people heard about it. And little by little by little, they just kept, more and more people kept bringing their animals here. So let's go ahead and head back there and see what we can find. Here we are, Clare Glen Pit Cemetery. Almost everywhere you look, there's graves. It's, a lot of them are sunk down where you can't even see them anymore. Got some bigger ones in the back. 1968, 1966, 1966 to 1980. Very interesting. I do believe this is the famous Pat. Uh, I do believe it's a like a white pointer. The actress, Billy Burke, like if you look on Weird New Jersey or anything like that, you'll see that there's, the, everybody has the same thing, that there's famous people have their dogs buried here. Well, this is Pat, this is Billy Burke's, the old actress, Billy Burke's. She's, she used to be an actress and entertainer from 1903 to 1960. Most people won't even recognize the name Billy Burke. But if you've ever seen The Wizard of Oz, the original Wizard of Oz. Oh, there's Lassie. Ah. <laughs> if you ever seen the, the Wizard of Oz, Billy Burke was Glinda, the good witch of the north. Which most people won't even recognize that name. So there's a Lassie dog there. Other people that have their dogs buried in here is Eddie Cantor, <clears throat> which Eddie Cantor he used to be a comedian, an actor, a musician, a singer, songwriter, all kinds of stuff. But wait, the thing that made him <clears throat> like so famous was he coined the term the March of Dimes. Yes, it was created by Franklin, Franklin D. Roosevelt. The foundation was, but the name March of Dimes was his donation to society in the big picture. This little, this little theater looking monument is for Paradiddle, Diddle, Paradiddle Ben, also known as Perry, from 1951 to 1963. It says, showbiz was his life and love, thus he lives still. And that's from Ben Cote. Cool. People really loved their pets back then. Man, this is something. Now here's something pretty interesting.
Shoo shoo. Spelt same way. S H U. That is cool. Right here is Rex, the Wonder Dog. Ooh. Of course, somebody vandalized this and took the uh, little picture above him. But there is Rex, the Wonder Dog, the famous water skiing dog in New Jersey. Here is the K-9 Patrol, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Nineteen seventy was the first one that came here, named Shadow. Last one was King Two, nineteen eighty four. You got one Duke, K nine Duke, nineteen sixty nine to July nineteen seventy nine. Now there is another tombstone right next to it, but I'm not sure if this is a police dog or not. But it's sitting right next to the K9 one. So that's pretty cool. Ivoring Berlin. Of course, most people will not recognize that name. Ivoring Berlin, he was a great composer. I mean, not like Mozart, Beethoven, Chopin, but I would put him up there with them. He was born in Russia, came here, lived here for many, many, many years, made hundreds of songs. And if you ever heard one of the songs that he wrote, Bing Crosby made it famous. White Christmas. He's the very person that wrote that. But to me, that's not the highest of his uh, achievements. The highest of his achievements to me is in 1918, he wrote a song and then revised it in 1938. It's been played at the NHL, MLB, American Football, Indianapolis 500, and countless number of other events. If you've never heard of Ivoring Berlin, I am definitely certain you have heard some of his music, like White Christmas, but my personal favorite is God Bless America. You know the song, God Bless America, Land That I Love, Stand Beside Her and Guide Her Through the Night with a Light from Above? That is Ivan Berlin. And unfortunately, when he was here, if, if or when, it's probably one of these that are under all the grass, but... But yeah, I just figured, uh, just figured we'd bring it to the Clare Glen Cemetery, and if you like it, give a thumbs up. If you're in the area, definitely check it out. It's, it's definitely pretty cool. You see all kinds of names and everything else, so. Well, we're going to head out to find another adventure, so stay tuned, stand by. Remember, subscribe, thumbs up if you like our videos, and make sure you comment down below. Oh, and by the way, I'll put the longitude latitude of where you can park to come in here. We do have permission from the city of Linwood's clerk's office. They did give us permission to come here. And everybody else has permission also now. It's not just us that has permission, it's everybody. So the people around here contact the police or whatever. It's only because this place has been vandalized so many times. So, but everybody does have permission. So, come on out, check it out. So, until next time.